Hey everybody, welcome back to D&D Night on DDO Stream with Rhyme of the Frost Midden, sponsored by Fantasy Grounds. Uh, we're going to kind of pick up, we were on a big island, uh, shaped like a snowflake. Isn't that nice? <laughs> to be clear, What's it is not. Does it have like the holes in it and everything too? Like, are they lakes or something? Uh, just a second, what did I put that map? Oh, you're all on it. That's why I didn't give it on. So let's see. I when I click my token, a different map comes up. Right. It's uh, Martin is representing y'all on that on the big map because it's a. Oh, okay. Well, can you reshare it then? Yes, I can. Oh, well, that's. Yeah, and these are not. Um, Five foot squares. Yeah. Okay, and you've just uh, been near the, just went through and did not disturb um, a series of ice statues. I mean, we're not asking for trouble. Well, some of us might be. <laughs> And we, determined, yeah, and we determined that these are actually ice statues, not like frozen people. As best as we could determine. Hopefully those ice moose don't come after us. Really, the important question is, what is your backup character? Asking for no reason. Backup character. I mean, I mean, not even asking for a friend. Yeah, no. he's asking for a dragon. Mm, dragons. Who does all dragons? Well, you've run into two so far. Alex, do I like dragons? I mean, depends. On how you look at it. But have we run into a dragon while in a dungeon? That's what I want. Yeah, that doesn't ha come up as often as you would think. Okay. All right. So you have kind of with you uh, a, a, a ice method who's been giving you the tour. Yeah, yeah. That's better than giving us the finger. I mean, that's how it is so far anyway, right? So. <clears throat> uh, what else does... Does anyone have any question, other questions that they don't quite remember from before? That I can answer. Um, well, I mean, the important question is about the top of that hill that looks like a giant skull. It does, in yeah, fact, look cast, like a it's giant. Castle Grey Skull, and that's where we were headed. Except for the method didn't want to take us there, he wanted to take us and show us all his little stupid boat, boat wrecks. He's probably just delaying so they could gather their forces and come after us. No, he didn't understand us until Vyor could talk with him. Yeah. He can kind of talk with Vi. It's not perfect. Um, she's speaking a root language and he's speaking a dialect. Uh, or a descended language. However, whatever the word for that is, that is coming to my brain right now. That's a pretty That's picture. Pretty dark, right. Oh, um, let's see. I will start with this. So it's. You mean um, like a branch? Is that the word you're looking for? Probably. Like what Spanish is to Latin. I'd I'd say more like what uh, what uh, 
United Kingdom English is to to Southern American English. Not that close. Um, but anyway, if you think that's close, it is. Having lived with a lot of English people and lived in the South all my life, yeah, it's surprisingly close. Let's see. Wait, are you talking about like a parent and a child language? Probably. Because the Spanish is way far away from Latin, but they would not be able to understand each other. Okay, so Latin and Italian. Possible. I would call those sister languages. Portuguese is probably the best for closer to being close to Latin, if I remember correctly. But... Uh, okay. I should actually. I'd say Portuguese is closer to Spanish, but what do I, what do I know? I mean, don't get me wrong, Spanish, uh, Italian, and all those romantic languages, they all have flat root. Mint from the standpoint of if you're picking from romantic languages, apparently. Did you get that by? That one's the closest to Latin. Uh, uh, let me try scrolling here. There's a lot of words on my screen. <laughs> That's what he says to me? Yep. Yeah, hang on. Uh, he's saying the last human is this way. I think we need to follow him. Hang on. Yeah, that sounds like something we should see. Yeah. Last human. What does that mean, last human? I don't know. I can't quite understand everything that he's saying, but... He's saying it's a human, so maybe we better go figure out what's going on. Okay. Which, which way is he pointing? Is he pointing? Is he walking? Yeah, he's flying ahead and pointing. At, like he's been okay. tour guiding you all. Well, I'm just going to follow him. Okay. Martin, you can also understand then. then. I will uh, see what I can do. So anyways, yeah, last human this way. And he starts guiding you to the north um, west. Mo more north than west for reasons of the island ends. Okay. So, do we want to go to where the last human is, or do we want to go straight to Castle Grayskull there, to the northeast? I'm following him. Yeah, I'm, I'm following. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you can move, we'll say, three squares. Woohoo, nothing ever bad happens on a one. You say that, and yet... <laughs> what I was doing is, since I've made a dice, I was using it and comparing it to what you rolled to see what we get. So, one moment here.
Yeah, I think that's everyone. And You uh, shared said map. There we go. Oh, they're not going to be here. Okay. Is there another map? There is an, another map coming up, yes. For, for, for the record, the results of your random t encounter table rolls are showing up on the stream. Yes, it's my... Um, it's because I'm using mine as opposed to the uh, empty one, because it was causing us issues before. Okay. But you're you're not watching the stream, are you? I had it on because we were testing the sound earlier, and I just didn't turn it off. Also, I thought more view viewers would be handy. I've got the sound off now because the echo would drive me insane. We wouldn't want that, right? Insane me. Okay. So we'll Sanity is overrated. It's true. All right. Let me share this. You all run into a Yeti. Or a Yeti's oh. run into you, depending on your opinion. Like, does it look like a mad Yeti? Does it look like he has a toothache? Yetis come in pretty mostly one flavor. <laughs> So he has a toothache. I have not yet placed the bear. For the record. Oh yeah. my. He's there from previous times. No worries. I just... Looks like he's got a serious case of the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> me too, Yeti. Me too. <laughs> Just remember, no matter how fluffy they appear, they are not friendly. <laughs> and I guess I will be batting cleanup. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, Sh Shadow's the first to react. Did I not get a roll? Did you do it? What happened? I sent you one. Oh, it went under my map. Okay. okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I gotta figure out how to use a mouse here. Did that? Did chat? Oh, come on. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I rolled really high. Sorry, I'm rolling for Cronin. <laughs> well, apparently Cronin he gets to go before anyone. All right then. Nope. Uh. Okay. Um. Shadow still goes first. Yeah. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, you got a 25. Oh, wow. Yeah. I guess so. Because he took the things. All right. So, for some reason, I'm not seeing a Yeti on the map. Me either. Well, That's why. Is. I found the reason. All right. Let's open him up. Because I'm pretty sure he's going to shoot it. Uh, yeah. Trying to figure out what else he's going to do. I know, kicking air for no reason. 
and then Second shot. Don't raise a skew either. Oh, are you rolling shadow? Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Now, Krennin. Okay. Um. Sorry, I'm not used to this mouse. I'm going to... So Shadow just stayed where he was? He shot through all of us? Yep. Since okay. he, especially since he doesn't have to worry about things like partial cover or anything. I'm going to go there. Wait, how does the... I'll just go there. How does the flanking work? Would I have to go farther back, or would there be an uh, opportunity if I go a little farther back? As long as you uh, stay within his... Okay. Uh... I'm going to go back just so that I can set up some type of an attack of opportunity then. Okay. But yeah, Martin, if you want to take over Shadow for until he gets here or whatever, if he gets here, that's fine. Yeah, no, I I pulled up his character sheet simply because I did last time as well. So. Sure. Just one last thing for me. Uh, Looking for my character sheet. Okay. Actions. Go, I'm sorry, go ahead. What were you going to say? Because I'm uh, going to attack. Right. As long as you're within its reach, you don't provoke an attack of opportunity, and there's no real... Particular advantage to flanking, though he gets sneak attack if there's an ally within five feet. Within five feet. Oh, within five feet, so it doesn't matter where I'm actually standing. Right. It's if there's an oh. ally. If your ally is within five feet of the target. Okay. I'm going to go. Oops. I meant to go back here then. Okay. Sorry. A little to the left. Into that square. Uh, The other way. The corner. Thank you for your sure. assistance. No problem. Okay. I'm gonna do. I think the. I think he does the unarmed strike. Yep. So here goes. Oh, oh! I hit. They're not known then... for wearing a lot of armor, so there's that. Okay. And then I get to roll my damage. How many times do I? How many times do I get to attack? Uh. Two. I think. He, let's see. Uh, he gets one regular attack and then, uh... He's back. Unarmed attack. Just, there you go. I just did one attack, but I only rolled a one on damage. Unarmed. Bam, bam. I don't... I don't know how to do a stabbing Okay, attack. sorry. I'm here. So that was one attack on un, unarmed. Yep. I'm assuming yes. that's my bonus action. And then here's my sh uh, short sword. Okay. Uh, 21. Totally hits. Totally hits, and it's not sneak attack. And then my second short sword attack is a miss. And the bonus action attack to did everything, and I'm done. Susa. Okay. Let me move up to here. Although, do I need to, if I step next to Cranon, will that help him? Or is that you close would, enough? You just have to be within five feet of the Yeti. Okay. So this is good? Yep. Oh, that hit. Oosh. Well, let's try that again.
Boom. Well, that's going to be a dead Yeti, I feel. <laughs> Another 17 points of damage. Uh, kills that Yeti. Oh. Are there any more? Maybe, but not right here. What is the little dragony dude doing? Uh, keeping out of out of it. Does he look surprised? Does he look scared? He he doesn't look surprised. He looks like he flew upward to be like, you know what? Mm, I'm just, I'll just watch from up here. Thank you very much. Oh. I'm going to say to him, did you know about this? Uh, and he's like, he affirms that, yes, he knew about them. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Uh, our little dragon friend says they're everywhere. He's, he's a mephit, right? Yep. Yeah. He's a little mini dragon. Oh, he's a mephit. Oh, I'm sorry. I think he, I thought he was a pseudo dragon. No, nothing that wholesome. Yeah, they're pretty common in the north. So I wouldn't be surprised to find a bunch of them here. Yeah, it's not the first time we fought a Yeti either. So where is this thing leading us to? Uh... Um. Okay, I'll ask him, is the... Uh... Is the last human nearby? Close? Close. I'll use the word close. Uh, shakes its head, uh, but points in the same direction it has pointed before. He says the last human is... Well... Okay. Well, I asked him if the last human was nearby, and he said he shook his head. From, yeah, from side to side. From side to side. Which I think means no. Universally forget it. in this world. I have no idea. Well, then, yeah. forget it. Let's not follow this guy. He's clearly, <laughs> clearly trying to, you know. Get us to not go to the place we want to go. Well, it's not that he necessarily doesn't want us to go there. He was showing us the sites, and now other people want to go where the last human is. So it's like, yeah, okay, whatever. I think the uh, if there is a human here, we need to make a point of finding them and and hopefully freeing them from whatever. They find themselves in. Who says they're in trouble? Well, it would be important to find out if they're here of their own will in sort of possibly a worshipful circumstance also. We would want to know that. Okay, fine, but do we have to do it now? Do it after we ransack the castle. If we go into the castle unprepared, it would be bad. Well, quite frankly, we shouldn't be unprepared because we knew we were coming here. Okay. You... You don't want to check and see if there's a person in in trouble. Is that what you're saying? I'm not saying that at all. I'm throwing out the option. Whatever the group wants to do, I'll go along. Yeah, the problem is this method doesn't really understand. We don't understand it. So we'd just be wandering around. He literally just shook his head saying, no, the human's not around. So 
well, not nearby, so I, I suspect he's up in that northeast branch of the Snowflake Island. Purely guessing. Northwest. Sorry, yes, northwest. Potentially north northwest. So, do we keep following him or do we break off and head to the castle? I mean, we can follow him, I guess. We still need to wait into the castle, right? Well, we're, we're looking for that thing. Book. I mean, I can ask him if he knows a way into the castle. Yeah, see what he says. Okay. I look at him. Do you know the way into the castle? <clears throat> Shakes his head up and down. Um, but wouldn't go there. Why not? It's uh, worse. Oh. It's worse than these yetis? Uh, yes. Probably. Huh. I, okay. I would expect it to be. In common, I say he knows the way into the castle, but he says it's worse. That makes sense, yeah. So I'm guessing that's some sort of voting mechanism that's in the uh, game chat? Yep. So cool. Determine what you're voting. Yeah, so are we going to follow him? <laughs> I don't like this method. It's almost as shifty as that dog. <laughs> All right, then. Um, go ahead and, Martin, go ahead and move uh, up to three. Are we just following the method? To the human? Apparently so. Twice as good as last time. Hey, good enough. Um, <laughs> let's see. You get to uh, a ten-foot-tall wall of ice is broken down in a few places, leaving gaps in which you can see what appears to be a huge garden of ice sculptures. Another garden of ice sculptures. This one's much this larger is... and is surrounded with a wall. It... And do we have the same sort of animals in there? Or? Uh, well, uh, you can go in, or you can look a little bit from the outside if you like. Oh yeah, I'm I'm, I'm trying to hide and look around. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna walk in. All right. Let's. I'm gonna move you all a little on the map. Um. So. I mean, it would be consistent with me pretty much the rest of this campaign. Of course I'm walking in. So, um, since you'll see this before you um, have to move to any kind of map or anything, there is a difference between this ice garden and the prior ice garden. Um, and that is, let's see. And that is, there are within it um, 
scores like a lot more things for one thing but they're a little more like there's humans pirates hunters adventurers worshipers uh, hares foxes other small animals all frozen not made of ice encased in ice not alive oh dear yeah so we found the frozen peoples yay um I'm going to pull my hood up and sneak closer. Okay. Let's see. Look at this guy real quick. All right. I bet there isn't. Second here. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, by the way, I have the Piffle Waffy. Right. Cloak. Okay. It gives you advantage, I think. Uh, advantage on stealth and disadvantage to see me. Okay. Even better. Hey, look at that. They actually gave me a map on this after all. This one is probably a bonus one from DM's Guild. One second here, I need to set the grid. There we go. All right, so let's grab. Oh dear, I went away. Uh, that should have been with advantage. Oops. Yep. Just do, uh, right um, just roll it or just roll again. Yep. Oh, that's better. Yeah, 23 is pretty good. Yeah. I doubt he'll roll lower. That's funny. All right. So I'm going to share this map. All right. So currently, uh, Cranon is sneaking. And I'm going to make him visible. And you can tell that there's an ice troll in there. Ew. Can I move in or should I just stay? You can. It's all up to you. Yeah, well, I was looking for something to, like, to hide behind. I don't know, buying like, this thing, you mean, I like guess. like these frozen people? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to say you can find cover throughout throughout here because there's more corpses than there are uh, illustrated on the map. Oh, okay. Then I'll just move farther that way. Oops. How do I... Eh. In a square. Yeah, that's good. Be worse. I mean, it's only an ice troll. It's not like it's an internet troll. Yeah, me without my troll chow. Yeah, this you can. Okay, this is the kind of troll you can actually defeat. Mm. And let me see. I'm gonna go ahead. 
put everyone else wait, on wait, the What do you mean this is a kind of troll that we, we can defeat? We can defeat any troll. Except the internet trolls. Oh. I mean, you can always do a trace route and find where they live and then There we go. The only way to win is not to play. Pretty much. All right. I put you all on the map in case something happens. The ice troll is currently munching on a uh, child's arm. Oh, gross. Okay. Frozen. Currently. Yeah, pre-dead, just to be clear. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it suddenly turned into a different kind of party, I guess. Uh, I suppose now would be a good time for our initiatives. I don't know. Is it? I don't know. So I have every intention of attacking it. Okay. Because it's eating a child's arm. Yeah, pretty much. Well, well, first, first, first of all, from this distance, can you really know that it's a child arm? All you really know is that it could be a halfling arm. It's a, it's, it's a chunk of meat of some sort. It looks like an arm, and he might not even have killed it. He's well, and I mean, hungry. why do we, we think it's feel bad it could for be a... making those arguments? <laughs> just... I, mean... I should, but. I mean, and why are we assuming it's a child? I mean, it could be a halfling or something. Would that make it better? <laughs> no, eating halflings is fine. Kind of like I you're... Mean... You're not sure... Like, if it was a halfling child, then it'd even be more confusing. Is he just snacking? Hey, Shadow's first again. Go figure. Yeah, I see that. Where is he? There he is. It's like a, a plus 10 makes a difference. Yeah. It's, uh, give me a second. It's funny that I'm the one that was like, yeah, I'm going to attack it now. And of course, I, I, I go last in the initiative order. So. Yep. Okay, so Shadow is basically going to do, I think, a double move. And it is surprised, so that's just FYI. Hit, hit, in, hit in that little gap. Yeah, like when its turn comes, all it can do is suddenly it can take reactions. Has he got any type, any type of uh, innate stealth ability? I don't think so. He has the skill? Yeah. He's proficient in it? Okay. Yeah, well, he's, he's basically going to try to hide and keep an eye on the troll right now, but he's not going to attack. So that would be his turn, I suppose. <laughs> Stealth rules of 16 all around. All right. Okay, he can now take reactions. That work. Okay. I'm going to now these uh, like tree looking things do they block line of sight the humans um, or the yeah the trees um, they will provide cover provide cover okay partial cover. and each of these is five right five yep. and oh is it gonna tell me how much I can move five ten fifteen twenty 
Is that 30 if I go there? Because I'm going some diagonal. Did it make me... Did it... Did that not move? No. You I'm may have been trying to go five, through the wall. 10, 15, 20. There's... Okay. There's 25. There, okay. Is there that 30? Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. I'm going to use some fire on him. I'm going to fireball him. It's 120 feet. That's definitely 120 feet. Yep. Oh yeah. Let's make him melt. Oof. Oh, he just took light damage? Yep. Oh, but man. more more importantly, he did fire damage to him. Oh yeah. It doesn't hurt him more, but it means he can't regenerate. Ooh, nice. I'm trying to Did that work? Because I hot barred my passing my turn, but I can't I didn't hear it. Didn't seem to. Do the little ding. Okay, let me try it again. No? Okay. I did the I moved the button. Like, you know, they said you could put on your hot bar, but I guess it doesn't work. Okay. Oh, I did it. So sorry about that. It's okay. All right, my turn, huh? Well, uh, let's see. First turn of combat, correct? Mm hmm. It sure is. I'll give an extra 10 feet of movement. Well, let's see if we can poke him in the eye. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Live, move it. There it is. Hit the troll. Yep. Uh, second attack. And because I'm taking any attack action on the first row, I get another attack. The third. Alright, now the question is... Uh, I'm going to take a little step back. With that in encased person between me and him for right now. And that'll do it. Oh, 
it's still a little far away. So I'm going to sneak closer. Okay. Yes, right there, if I have cover. Sure. You can find okay. it. You can hide behind a uh, a handful of gnomes and a human. Excellent. Delightful. That's, that's all, that's all I'm going to do. Would that be like gnome fries? <laughs> and move forward. Okay. And well, I guess I will. Do some Eldritch Blast. Oh, it's. I don't have any fire stuff. Eh, a bit of damage. All right. Did you make your second uh, Eldritch Blast shot? No, I didn't. Hold on. Sorry, I forget I get two attacks. So, I got one. Sorry, Mecca. Oh, it's gonna miss anyway. Great. Well, I'm going to move forward. Go ahead and drop my totem. So let me go through and select my friends, I guess. It's control click, right? Yeah. You're putting down the bear totem? Yeah. That is click on the effect. Did everybody okay. get there? <laughs> All right. So that aura, that particular one, puts the thing that generates the aura on everyone. So everyone generates the aura onto everyone, is what that one is. Sorry. It's okay. I can fix it. Kill it, kill it, delete it, delete it. That's fixed. Okay. So, so you got every, you've got everybody selected. Let me see where it is on here. Actions. And just hit the heel. The yeah, the twelve temporary one. Okay. No, not. Let's see. Yeah. Where it says heal 12 temporary, just click the okay. plus sign. And just everybody remember that they have advantage on strength. That'll happen. Yeah, that'll happen um, because they're in within uh, 30 units of the bear totem. Okay. What What's the range? 30. Yeah, I'm outside. Okay. And when you move, 
like if you're not there you can move your token back and forth and it will put it on when it first pops up that's a thing that happens and they don't say from aura bear spirit da 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 okay I should probably not have the 12 hit points because I'm actually 45 which is fine um, anyways that's a bonus action yep and for my main action I'm going to put a bonfire underneath the, the troll okay I love that because, yeah. Um, because troll. Yeah. Oh, I now have a token on there that I can just drag over there, huh? That's neat. And on the troll, I think I've only got him clicked. I will. Did I get kicked out? No, okay. I heard the sound. Never mind. That was Patrick joining. Uh, we failed to do damage. Listening. Yay! We like damage. We like. Ten points of fire damage, certainly. Yep. And uh, I'm very much at the how do you like me now stage. Okay. Uh, and I think that'll be it. I clicked it. Okay. And shadow. Okay, well, I guess we'll just fire a couple of arrows at him. This is the first one. There we go. Give me a second. All right. That one goes. Put some more holes in him that aren't closing yet. Yep, I think that's probably it. Unless Patrick wants to type in with a bonus action. Let's see. Is that fine? So apparently, uh, Shadow is now wearing what appears to be troll skin jacket. Okay. Or is that after the troll is dead? Oh, he says he glamoured it. I'm not exactly sure how I can do that with bonus action. But yeah, what do I care? You know, he's sporting the troll skin jacket. Uh, uh, you know, doing a runway strut to, of things that might be coming. All right, dashes forward. Let's see. I think that's right. To here. Let's see. All right. Oh, he's using the miter of disguise. That's what he's using. Okay. And then Vyorka. Uh, because you were within 10 feet of this troll, 
Uh huh. Uh, it is so immensely cold. That it hits you for 11 cold damage, which oh my goodness. is absorbed off your um, bear totem, number of hit points. Well, I better warm him up. I'm going to cast I'm gonna cast fireball. Do it! Fireball. Fireball? Uh-huh. Do I have to put the save on him first? You should um, draw your fireball. Yeah. There we and, and, say, and say who you're excluding, if anybody. Okay. I'm excluding all my friends. What I'm excluding. Yeah, that doesn't necessarily clarify anything. <laughs> okay. I need a 20-foot radius. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to exclude Micah, and is this bear totem? Can't be, can't be affected. Is immune. Cannot be affected. Yep. So I'm going to exclude Micah, Cronin, just in case he comes into it, and Susa, just in case she comes into it. Okay. And myself, of course, but I think I'm going to be interesting seeing what happens to those people in case to nice. Fireballs are actually instantaneous. Yep. Just... Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. He fails. All right. And now I roll my damage? Yep. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Look at those sixes. <laughs> nice. That's a really good fire base fireball. He looked cold. Well, he doesn't look as cold as he ought to be. Um, neither do all those bodies that are not gone. <clears throat> Good news, out, Micah. You're not de you're not <clears throat> burnt to a crisp or anything. <laughs> oh me! You're feeling a little toasty, though. <laughs> I think that's it. I'm roasting hey, marshmallows. <laughs> Martin. Ooh. I suspect there's about to be a dead troll. <laughs> nice. Should we see if we can like follow these people out, or are they dead? Oh, they're dead. Okay. Like, if you if you study them, you can tell how extra dead they are. Like, oh, I see. This one's been cleaved open by. Uh, all of them have either been killed by extreme cold, or uh, like claw marks. Okay, or... I think I was muted when I say that Shadow runs up to him and pulls out one of his tusks. Or right. trophy. Yeah. Second. Whether he actually takes the time to skin him to make a jacket, that I don't know. I mean, does the troll have anything on him? Is he wearing a collar? No. I 
Let's see. Um... Yeah, you know, search the bodies. Or does there appear to be any other threats in this little area? Not within here other than the troll. Oh, so he know. officially is not going to skin the body. Okay. Let's see. Uh, whatever, I'll just grab everybody. Nature. So I want to want to torch him with with the firebolt just to make doubly sure. <laughs> um, or yes. Mike can roll him around in the bonfire. <laughs> Move the bonfire yes. in there, yeah. 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 Keep, keep from going back. Pick, pick him up. We'll throw him in the bonfire. I'm not going to touch him. Just firebolt him. It works either way. Oh. Yes. It was on a twenty, and then it rolled over. Okay. Which reminds me, I need to give Shadow his uh, inspiration back for the game. There we go. I will firebolt him, unless there's something else the DM has in mind right now. Apparently, there's an option to, to have up to three inspiration points. I uh, I saw that the other day. I, I can just put the bonfire under him. I should think can't I move it. Yes, I can. You can move the bonfire? Yes. Well, it's a cantrip. So. Oh, it's a cantrip. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, do it. I, I just put the put the bonfire under it. Uh, any lingering ability to regenerate will go away real quick. I'm going to roast to troll tonight. Anyone have alchemist tools by any chance? Uh, probably not. Let me check. No. Okay. Still checking. Let me get you guys back on the, the other map. Nothing of interest on the Yeti? Uh, on the Yeti? You mean the troll? Sorry, yeah, troll. Nope. Well, you know, I, I, I presume we searched the Yeti, too, but, you know. All right. Which way is the I method guess. pointing? I should do that roll too. Let's see. Well, let's search this area first before we go. Well, he was saying there was really nothing of interest in here. The entire thing? Okay. Well, no, it's fine. Search the whole thing, sure. Okay, um, so Sousa and uh, Martin, uh, Thopo, which is the name of the um, Mephit, is like, are you going to eat that, or? Oh, you mean by Orca? Uh, I don't think, are any of us going to eat this? He wants no, to I'm good. I'm no. good. I say it's all yours. Bad okay. things can happen to you if you eat troll flesh. Okay. Then it will fly over to troll, create a, a dagger of ice, cut its cut open cut open the troll, pulls out its heart and starts eating him. 
as fast as it can. Oh my. I mean, there are some dead, frozen humans over here, too. I mean, you want to eat those? It is busy eating this uh, ice troll heart. Fortunately, he can't understand you. Oh, yeah. Damn it. Let's see. But other than that, you... People are in their clothes. It doesn't look like they kept. They have any of their, like equipment, any kind of extra equipment. These are mostly just people, uh, and a lot of them are bound, so they may be a lot of them have been set were sacrifices. Oh, lovely! Like there were some of the ten towners that were doing that to Orwell, weren't they? Yeah, what something was that? like that. Okay. I was making sure you were asking out loud or asking me. Uh, more or less asking you, I think, just from a refresher standpoint from like the very first week or two. But yeah, those different different towns had different sacrifices and many of them it was it was humans and the like. Uh, you don't particularly recognize anybody, though. And some of them are dressed like frost druids, too. And I guess, can we detect magic and walk around and see if anyone <laughs> has any sort of items on them or anything? I don't know this magic stuff, so. Uh, Viorca might be the only one who can do that. Well, yeah, Viorca, can you like detect magic and walk around and see if any of these people were froze with items on them? I can do that. I'm also curious to know if they are actually dead or just in stasis. It You're is dead. magic after all. It's magic though. Yeah. They're they very were... they're very much dead. Oh, okay. Like you can tell some of them like I said, they've they've all uh suffered fatal wounds of one form or the other. Okay. Like their fle their their flesh is blackened and and etc. Then yes, I if we have time, I will catch Jack Magic as a ritual and walk around to see if I get a hit on anything. Sure, we can waste ten minutes. Why not? Uh... We've been wandering around this island for like a day already because this method just wants to show us the sights. starting to question how much trust we should place in him, but, you know. What? No. Hey, you were the one who was eager to follow him. Well, I was at first, because I thought he was just saying that the dude was over there, or dudette, but, you know. Alright, um... The the method looks a little bit bigger um, than he was before. Uh, his he voice got is buffed. Bit, his, his voice is a little bit deeper. And he's like this way, last last strange human. I'm assuming nobody lit up for Viorca.
Okay, I guess that's... Guess we could continue forward then? I guess. You know, which 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 way is he, is he leading us? He will lead you this way. He's not meandering either. Yes. Yeah, what... He knows exactly where these power-ups are. Yeah, this is great. Interestingly enough, he's the only one who rolled high enough to actually know about that. It just so happens. Yeah, it's okay. You can move one more square. All right. Twice as good as last time. Good enough. It's comparing to uh, the 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 uh, uh, epoxy dice I made. So, um, all right. So, go ahead and move uh, four more squares. He seems to be leading you all um, in a in less treacherous ways now than he was before. Okay, so are we headed towards the boat or are we headed on the other side? Are we headed towards the hill? Uh, boat side. Yeah, let's go. I uh, we said I'm supposed to roll an eight. No, you're supposed to roll a five. Uh, no, I'm supposed to roll an eight. There's a one, a two, a four, and then an eight. You just double every time. Okay, and this is where he's trying to lead you to, so you can move there if you'd like. Let's see. Let me find a picture here. What was that? I said, let me find a picture here. Oh, wait, actually. Let's see. Yeah, I put it there. I thought so. Uh, is that a weasel or a ferret? Uh, I'm pretty sure it is a ferret. Let's see. Um, <laughs> and is it there? No, it is a weasel. Um, half buried in the snow I near the edge so of, a, of a bluff is a humanoid corpse clad in cold weather clothing. Clutch in one of its hands is an orb made of smoky gray quartz. A white weasel bursts from the snow near the corpse and stares at you with beady eyes. A voice rings out, Ye gods, I was afraid no one would find us. The sound isn't coming from the weasel, or the person, but from the orb. Okay. Uh, sounds like somebody's stuck in an orb. I will... Uh, do, we, do we want to just smash the orb? No. We want to check it I, first. I ask out loud. Oh, smash the orb? Okay, I'll walk over to it. And... No. no, no. Oh. No. Oh, okay. I want to see how the orb is going to react. I will walk over. Me look too. In, look intently at the orb. Hmm. Well... And cast detect magic. Oh, 
pretty much guarantee you the orb is going to glow. Sure, but it will also tell me something about the magic. I know, I know. What about the weasel? Like if it's super weasel might glow too. Super necrotic magic or super evocation magic, I might not want to touch it. Okay. And you're you're detecting it before you touch it or pull it out or any of those things, right? I'm not yes. Yeah, I'm not even stuff. talking to it. Okay. Even though I really want to. I mean no, I I actually asked should we smash the orb out loud to see if the orb would actually react and then I guess it didn't bother reacting. Uh let's see. I, I figured one of two things. Either, either the orb is going to say, yes, that'll do it, or, or he's going to freak out and say, no, 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 don't do that. And I actually oh. played along and went over to try to yeah. pretend to smash the orb. <laughs> um, but yes, it's like, um, it was like, no, hey, I'm, I'm just a teacher. Um, and it's Probably necromancy, conjuration, and uh, abjuration. Okay. That is an interesting mix. He is says he's not... just a teacher. So is, is is there nobody in the orb then? It's just an, an, if, it's just a sentient orb? If I go mad, pl please try not to kill me. And I'll reach out and, and grab the orb. Okay. Uh, let's see. Add these and then adjust as necessary. You don't want to query the orb before grabbing it. All right, that's fine. All right. Um, so, a spirit manifests. Yay! I figured that would happen. Um, okay, so first she'll do that. So. Save Charisma. Okay. Of course, you know, by Eric, I might even want to ask the method, it's like, you call this alive? I'm about to try here. Try to get you, get, there we go. Oh. Well? Um, so Micah, you've been possessed. Oh, that's fine. Um, all right. Uh, that, that's better. Oh, I, I did not turn out that well. Yeah, that's, that's not great. And, uh, grabs the orb. All right, let's go find a book. What do you think? What, 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 what? what? All of these are coming out of Micah's mouth? Yes. Okay, just making sure. What about the weasel? What's it doing? Uh, uh, it, it crawls up and sits on his shoulder. What do you what, mean what? you didn't turn out well? Who are you? Uh, my name is Nass. Lantomir from the Arcane Brotherhood. Uh, of course you. So, what do you say? We we go and get what I'm here for, so I can leave. Uh, depends. What are you here for? I'm here for the Codicil. What did you do with Micah? Gazuntai, Codicil of what? I moved him to the side a little bit. He'll be fine, as long as this, as long as nothing happens to his body. That's that's cool. 
you're probably smarter than he is anyways, so... Certainly. Um, who's this ghost? I think the ghost went into Oh, the ghost body. possessed him, so it's other oh, separate. Never mind. Uh, I dig up his... I'm going to start digging up his body. I mean, you don't mind if I, like, dig up your body, right? <laughs> um, I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be doing much it, for me was, now. Was it was it your original body? Yes. You know, while we're here, and there's a boat here, why don't we go search the wreckage of the boat, see if there's anything interesting. Okay, it is submerged. Give me a second. Uh, and I want to dig up his body and see if he's got any loot on it or anything. It's completely submerged? Yep. Okay, well, in that case. I mean, is nobody else concerned that he's just taken over Micah? Yes, but what do you want to do about it? I'll give him back. I just need to complete some things. What things? I need to find the Codicil of White. Where is it? In that skull castle over there? Yes. Okay. Well, we were probably going there anyway. Yeah. Uh, well, that's, well, what that's else? What, what, do you need to what do you need to complete, though? I need to acquire the Codicil of White. No, no, I got that part. What are you going to do with it afterwards? Nothing. I won't even be here anymore. Like roll knowledge or something. Hey. Okay. okay. You need to find it. Is that is that is that going to basically just free you then? Because you know if you can't really take it with you. I'll give you this one. And this like one. I'm just trying to. Figure out yes, the Arcane Brotherhood. Yep. I'm just trying to figure out if I... Not about the Arcane Brotherhood, but like what he's done to Micah. Okay. He, so, he's possessed him. I think that was, I think that was kind of I know, clear. But, but... And, but like, uh, is it a permanent thing? Can he use Micah's skills? Is it going to bring him back? Where is okay. he going to go when he says he's going to dissipate? I have so many questions. All right. Uh, if it's a ghost, ghosts are often bound to objects or quests based uh, with lack of a better term like it's normally you know it doesn't even have to be as grand whatever it is they were supposed have left unfinished if they complete that often depending on how malevolent they may be um then they are done with the world and pass on to the outer planes Right. Okay. So basically, as best as we can tell right now, just if we just find it, he says, "Ah, finally, I found it." And see you later. Poof, he's gone. Yes. Once you, uh, Nas is like, yes. Once I find the codicil of white, well, that's that's pretty much where my plans end. I'm pretty sure that'll be the end of me here. Because then, then I would have beat would have beaten my uh, uh, competition. Okay. You, Insight you're, check. You're in a race to find this. More or less. Oh boy. Now you know anything about the Frost Maiden? Or do an insight check to see if he actually believes, or if I believe that he believes that he's he's just going to disappear. Yep. Also, it's worth remembering that you're you were here sent here by, uh, and she's actually on the island, but didn't come with you. She's still at the um, dock. Uh, uh, Valian Harpel's uh, request uh, to find both her her professor orb and the Cadissal of White. Yeah, so we clearly found the Professor Orb. Wait, we were supposed to find the Professor Orb and the Codicil of White? Yes. 
I only remember the Caduceus of White. I don't remember the Professor. Yeah. The difference is oh. the Professor Orb is she she has shared uh, is a basically a family heirloom of hers that was stolen by one of her rivals. And this is her rival. However, okay. what what wait? question what are you going to do with the caduceus of white once you find it well that's what i asked him and he basically said well as soon as i find it i'm basically done from explaining this so, I'm out of here. But so we could... get to keep the caduceus of white well if you could give it to one of the um members of the arcane brotherhood and make sure be very clear that i'm the one who found it first um then i and they'll be able to continue the overarching plan. I mean, clearly I died, so that will be the last of my contribution. Oh, oh, cool. So, so what is this plan? Well, it's to open up the uh, Great Glacier to get to the city That's underneath. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's to Crandon's question. Well, what, it, well, what are you going to do once you open up the city to, to get to the city? I mean, you know, you, you say the, the, the great plan continues, but I can't believe the plan is just to, just to you know, open up the city. So there's got to be more to it. So, you know, well, trying sure. to ask is in it. And then the arcade it, it will descend, up, descend upon the city and uh, and look for further magical information and knowledge that has been lost to us throughout the ages. I'm trying to, trying to sound curious to glean as much information I can without giving away the store, if you will. Okay. Oh, well, what kind of information? Vast magical knowledge of the ancients. Well, give me an example. Like what? Like how to make floating cities? Well, that could be interesting, I suppose. Anybody else want to ask anything? Cranon's question. Yeah, what about the Frost Maiden? Do you know anything about her? Why this entire area is in perpetual darkness? Uh, well, probably because the Ice Maiden came here and is exerting her influence over the area? Yeah, but why? And who is she? And why don't you guys want to stop her? Well, she's the god of the cold and general of freezing to death and betraying your people to the cold. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and why does no one seem to be interested in stopping her? Like she's a goddess. Other, yeah. What about the other goddesses and gods and you know, two weapon fighting drow elves with scimitars and stuff? I don't know. It's it's out of my purview. Okay, continuing okay. to dig up his body. Alright. So, as a ghost, could you, like, leave Micah's body anytime you want? Well, yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, I was kind of curious, uh, you know, since we can't actually get to that submerged ship there, you think you think you could disembody yourself from, from him and, and kind of search out that ship, see if there's anything worthwhile for us? Sure, it doesn't seem to be too far from here, so I will won't bounce back. Uh, all right, sure. You want me to look? Uh, but you know, not 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 with not with Micah's body. You have to be out out of his body, so you know, because we don't want we don't want to damage his body. Oh. Well, okay. Before I do that, will someone let me in when I come back? What about that weasel over there? What, my familiar? <laughs> I mean, it's a spirit. I 
I can't possess a spirit. It needs to be quick, quick, quick huddle. What? <laughs> Wasn't quite expecting that, but all right. <laughs> Almost had him. Well, or you just smash the orb. Well, no, you don't want to. You don't want to just smash the orb because that you know that that wouldn't necessarily solve the issue. So, um, you know, because he's he's possessing Micah right now, and you're smashing the orb. would smash the orb. It's not going to get him out of Micah. Maybe we should just. Go and try and find this book. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, we has any other ideas? Okay, all right. Micah's personality. What do you think? Do you have a response to? Will you let her back in, or him back in? Um. That's a tough question. Uh, is, is there a, a, a chance of dialogue here between Micah and the spirit? Yes. Okay. Why? Give me a reason why I should. Well, um, otherwise I don't. Otherwise I, I have to take a more aggressive stance on trying to take control um, I'd rather not. I can only go so far away from where I've died, where I've perished, and I have objectives to complete. Uh, will those objectives har harm anyone's life? I don't. I don't know. It it is not my intent for them to. How is that? Hmm. You know what? Fine with the caveat. If you do anything to hurt any of my people, um, I will find ways to destroy your soul. Intentionally? Like, I will not intentionally cause harm to any of your compatriots. Knowingly cause harm. What was that? Knowingly sure. cause harm. Which means if you do something you know will hurt them. Right. I mean, I've lost most of my spellcasting capabilities anyway, but I, I can make that deal. I mean, as long as it helps us get this mission over with, hopefully Excellent. this will give us what we need to fight Oreo. Um, and Micah speaks again. All right, I have actually confirmed with Micah that as long as I meet certain criteria, I can come back to his body. So in that case, I will go and check out the ship for you and be back shortly. How's that? All righty. Um, the spirit leaves Micah's body. Well, that was unpleasant. Um. So you gotta let him back in, huh? No, now he's now he's out. Now we smash the orb. No, Why would you smash don't. me? Says the orb. The orb is not necessarily the ghost. I have yeah, nothing to do orb. with the, that spirit. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The, the orb is not. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then, what are you? I am a Professor Orb. 
Okay, so pr profess me this. <laughs> uh, yeah, profess something. All right. Sure. The Caduceus of White is a, was one of the holy books of Arl. Uh, within it is both her rhyme and various other tenets of the faith. Or the yeah, there are many different um, incantations that can perform various different actions uh, by channeling her divine power. The essence of Excellent whatever her, of her being, that being the cold, frost, etc., power over ice, and the beast. Protection from gold and e uh, good and evil will drive him out. For the record, hear that, Lyarica? I think it will drive him out. You probably don't have that spell, but um, so Professor Orb, uh, how do you destroy the book? You're asking a professor how to destroy a book. Mm -hmm. You don't. But if it's containing her evil powers, why would no, you no, not? No. It, it is not a, a book of evil power. It is a book that contains uh, writings and some and can access power. It itself is a book. Oh. Aurel okay. is evil. Cold, much like the parallel elemental plane of ice, is not evil. It's just incredibly unpleasant. So, you're a professor, or who, does somebody, do you belong to somebody? Uh, well, I've been in the possession of the, um, find their name, of the Harples for quite a long time, so, uh, sort of. Well, I'm going to, do, do you have a name or should I just call you Bob? Well, you could call me Bob if you so wanted to, but, uh, hey, call call my Poe. Name. uh, let's see, just again. Well, no, I yeah, know what Professor Orb, Poe, P O. Sir Orb. It went up the right thing. Uh, Professor Scant is what uh, is how I'm been known. Okay, Scant, welcome to your new or here. Welcome to your new owner. Fiorica, would you like a Professor Orb? Oh. Uh, Micah might have something to say about that. I guess I can hold on to it for now, but I'm going to grab it with gloves. Uh, the sure. ghost is not part of the orb, for the record. But, Still. Uh, yeah. Um, Micah was more, holding the orb and everything, so. It, it's certainly more suited to a wizard than to a druid, I think. But I wouldn't make that decision without... I wouldn't make that. Well, it's up to you, Micah. Well, part part of part of the question is is what did what did we promise this Harpel person? I I don't remember anything about this orb thing to her. <laughs> Which could be because well, it's been it, a month. The last time I played. Well, oh, no, no, I was taking notes, and I wrote down what she wanted us to do, and I didn't write that down. I mean, not saying I didn't miss it, but. I don't remember that. Don't see them in my notes. Yep, I agree. I don't have it in my notes either. But if she did tell us that, then sure, yes. sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. She's okay. Looking for her professor orb and the Cadizal of white. Yeah, it's not hers. And after a while, the spirit comes back. Is the spirit allowed back into uh, to Micah, or does it have to fight? I let him take control. Okay. It does so. Um, all right. There was 
nothing left in the in, in the shipwreck. Um, I thought there might be a few things that might have survived, but apparently not. I was on the ship, you see. Oh, okay. I was wondering if that was... There were provisions, right, well... but they didn't make it either. Gotcha. Well, I appreciate I you looking for us. I was pretty much doomed, apparently. All right, shall we go? What about his body? Uh, on his body, you find a, a spell book. A what book? Spell book. Spell book. <laughs> spell <laughs> what? Ha 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 I just hand it over to the great and powerful V. <gasps> Ooh, does it have that spell that was mentioned by Micah? <laughs> oh, uh, protection from good and evil, I think. Thinking that might be a divine uh, spell. Mm -mm. No, it's a wizard. It's wizard. Yeah, it's wizards can get it too. Yeah. Okay. It's super great. All right. In that spell book, uh, let's see. Wooden covers of nest. Spell book are bound in Nothic hide and silver clasp bound the book shut. Um, there's a personal sigil inscribed on the spine. Um, hold, hold on. Hold on. Did you say Nothic hide? Yes. Okay. <laughs> just, just want to make sure. What's Nothic hide? <clears throat> no, Nothics are, are horrifying. Yeah, they kind of are. And they usually make you fight them at low levels for whatever yeah. reason. Um, it also uh, has the title uh, Lantomir's Traveling Librum. <laughs> the tome contains uh, a number of spells, which you can look at because it's in the party sheet. For you to grab out, probably. Okay. All right. Well, let us off to the castle, I suppose. And there's enough um, uh, stuff on on the body that you could cast um, find familiar, for example. So twenty five gold pieces worth of find familiar components. It does not have protection from good and evil. Uh, if if it looks like you're all about to set off, then the orb will say onward to Yithrin. And so you know the best way to get there from here? Through a great glacier. Oh, that's not the name of the castle then, huh? Okay. How about, how about the castle? You know how to get to the castle from here? As in, you know, do, well, is there a special passage that we have to find, or can we just do a, you know, as the crow flies, so to speak? So, Grimskala is the name of the place that we're heading, um, and it used to belong it used to belong to a small kingdom of ice giants. I haven't heard anything of them in a long time, but yes, there's a a set of stairs, I believe. Is the whole thing made up? Located in the back, located on the side. Uh, it is on the um, eastern side, I believe. But I, I do have a problem with direction. Well, is the whole thing made of ice? Can we just bore a hole through it? Or make our own stairs? I mean... Possibly, eventually, there may be stone involved. I'm not sure. I've never been there. Well, let's head towards the center port. Anyways, it's going to take us a little while. Okay. Three, four. Uh, four. Also, while you've been talking, the method has left. Okay. Where did it go? Up, up, and away. Nobody was paying attention. Oh. Okay. So, uh, nothing happens. Go ahead and move another four. Actually, speed it up a little bit. Go ahead and move eight at a time.
Okay. Uh, Does it look like there's a way up the mountainside from here? There does not. <laughs> One second. Let me release Shadow. Now you can. I'm going to take an AFK break. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Nass speaks and says, yeah. Oof. Well, I guess this kind of worked out. I mean, other than I'm dead. But, um, yeah, we totally came on the wrong side of this island. I have a climber's kit. Can we, can we climb our kit up here, or is it just looks really impassable? It's really impassable. All right, so we're going to head off and can I climb it? around towards the north. Technically, yes. I have a climb speed. That's why I said technically, yes. Well, everybody has a climb speed. Climbing? But I'll tell you, this is where you're heading. Yeah, okay, that's fine. You know, work my way around the north the north area and you know, head over that general direction. Okay. So, let me know how many squares we can move. Eight. Nothing else was happening here, right? Yep. I'm assuming we can do that. Sure. Okay. Uh, you don't run into anything. You're about to come uh, near another ice statue forest. Let's see. And these are pure ice. I'm gonna reshare the maps. Patrick. Yep. For Shadow. I don't know. Do we want to go trolling through another no. forest of things, or skirt around them? Go around them. Useless. Is it me or is it just getting real quiet? It just did. So go ahead and uh, have me roll some dice. See if this is the uh, same thing. All right. Um, eight more. Okay. So no, you said we're headed towards the east, but it looks like there might be a way up here just below us, but we're not. Yeah. I'm... I'm where I am pointing is the base of some stairs. Yeah, so nothing nothing like this would work? Nope. Okay. Let me clear that now. There. there we go. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Let's grab my... Well, there's roughly six.
I have the power. All right. So, let's see. All right, so, um, one second here. I'm going to pull my hood up, kind of go all shadowy. And sneaky look? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Each step, um, as once you reach the steps... Um, which actually, you can see them, they're, they're giant size. You can see them before, um, you get to them, uh, as you are on your way going up the, what would probably be just a big walking path for the giants, uh, for you is more of an open area. Uh, let me grab. So we can see. Yeah, this will be fine. And I need So, Micah, you're going to be allowed to act and everything, but Nas is still in there with the option to take over. Okay, doke. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I guess first we'll start off with selecting you all. Um, is anyone cannot be surprised? Uh, yeah. Shadow, for sure. Um, I am alert. Hang on, hang on. Uh, I can't be surprised while I am conscious. Win. I am mostly sort of kind of invisible. I'm totally shocked by everything. Okay, we'll do this then. See? Shocked. Me too. I but not as can. much as Vi. <laughs> Uh, I'm not seeing it, so potentially I could be surprised. Hold on a second, I'm getting a raid from another channel. Once oh. they figure it out. Well, that's nice. That is an offing. Absolutely. I can't see it. Yeah, it's in a uh, Discord. Okay. Oh. Is that is it like a baby beholder before they grow up? Not yeah, it's when they only have one eye. Yeah, it's <laughs> not really, but they are not pleasant. But they are anti-magic, though. Oh. Yeah. 
They are not your friend. Shocking, I know. How are you going to be on a different map? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, crap. Okay. Second. Let's see. So, Viorca, you'll be surprised. Uh, do you want me to roll a surprise? Not no. surprised. <laughs> I know I'm not supposed to be surprised, but I'm surprised that Soup is, uh, is not surprised. Well, they. Never mind that raid. They, they couldn't find me by my name. But, oh well. Anyway, so, let's. Grab these. I don't know why they're not on here, because that'd be handy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven yetis at a each one out of its own cave that all bust out at the same time at y'all. Whose idea was it to go this way? Ooh. Professor Not Orb. I mean, the method did tell us this was worse. Is there is there a map? Yep, coming up. Huh. You can double click your token to get there. It's already set up. No, I'm set up on the big map. Uh, no, you're not. Of course. Actually, I'm going to back you guys up a little. They all look so angry. All right. Ideally, I'd like to be like 20 feet behind everybody else. Well. But I, the map is a little far. I mean, their caves look kind of far apart from each other. Actually, let's up this up and If you're trying to get me farther away, it's not a big deal. Okay, that's fine. I just kind of, as a standing general rule of thumb, 20 feet back is, is about where I like to live. So. I'm betting it's uh, initiative time. Yep. It's what I was looking over to. It's are they, are they surprise attacking us? Uh, they are trying to surprise attack you, but only one of you is surprised. Oh. And the way surprise rounds work is everybody still kind of goes, but you can't actually do anything uh, on the first round, except um, once your turn has passed on the surprise round, you can then take reactions. If, if you're surprised, that is. So, in this case, everybody will be acting except Viorca, who on Viorca's turn, she can then take reactions, and then it'll circle back around as it continues through as normal. Uh, let's see. I don't need that opener or that. So, Cranon is first. Um, did we get a map or anything? or? Oh, there we go. Wow, and they're all right there? Holy crap. Yeah, they Is there any... Burst out of their uh, caves. I mean, is there any terrain? Like, is the terrain actually here or anything like that? Um, you can use it for cover. 
Oh, I was looking for like a choke point or something like that. Like that's not what that is, right? Right. They they will not be right. stopped by the terrain, but they uh if they had if you were hiding in the terrain, I'll give you uh some cover when they try to to uh, bash your skull in. Oh, yay. That sounds uh fun. There's a lot of them. I don't know what to do. Um, well, if you can I, talk to animals, you can try talking to them. I mean, are they, like, angry? Are they coming at us? Yes, they would like to eat you. Okay, well, then I'm going to um, create a five-foot by five-foot by five-foot bonfire. On the map. With like some... Do you have a cantrip or something? I do. I do have a cantrip. Cool. cool, 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 cool. And I it's see? called... It... Hmm? No, go ahead. Go. And it's called Minor Illusion. Oh. Yeah. So, I mean... It's better than nothing? You know I can actually create a real one, right? Correct. Okay, just checking. Because, I mean, yeah, I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? They see right through it, and then I'm just going to move there, and... They stomp through through his, and they they think yours is illusion as well, and they stop and pursue yours. Right. Yeah, that, that was kind of the plan. So, I'm just, and I'm just going to move there. And then I guess that's all I'm going to do. I don't really have a whole lot else. Oh, wait. I do have something else I could do. Am I always batting clean up? Uh, too late. Uh, sorry. I already did it. I'm done. This looks fun. All right, Shadow. I yeah, I you mean seem to getting... recall these things having like lousy AC. Yes, you know that from a fact. You fought one earlier. Yeah. Um, and so we're gonna. Well, we're we gonna fought really... a couple earlier, but we fought one earlier today. Yes. We're, we're, and we're gonna draw that weapon, back, that bow back. Yeah, you hit on a three. That's a hit. Seventeen, mm. lest you re-roll it. Yeah, that's what I was debating. I'm gonna re-roll it. I'm just gonna re-roll the d8. Hey, there we go. Five more damage. Okay. That's how you re-roll. You get to re-roll a three. Wow. I get to re-roll one damage die. Uh, oh, a round, nice. I think. Okay, you shoot the uh, the littlest of them. Oh really? Yep. There's size variances. I mean, you know, not everyone's identical. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah. Once per turn, when I deal piercing damage, I can reroll one damage die. And I have to use the new one. All right. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him again. Okay. You hit. Excellent. And extra damage. Boof. Excellent. The small one falls. <laughs> cool. Now there are six uh, Yeti. Excellent. We're going up to the scary ass castle thing. You know, I think I'm not afraid of Yeti, so I'm not going to use my action surge. Besides, I'm in the back. They're going to eat Cranon first. <laughs> Martin. Uh, yeah, I'm checking something. 
Uh, of course it is. Checking two different features. Okay. Well, I am going to. Take aim at Unity 12. I'm not sure how I make it a target though. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oops. And that is a hit. Okay, and Uh, when you hit a creature with an attack roll, you can call on your mystical bomb here with nature to mark the target as your favorite enemy for one minute or until you lose concentration. So, that's my favorite foe. I have a question. Uh -huh. yeah. would, would, would this count as stormy conditions? All the snow and everything. Mm -hmm. Good to know. I should have given an extra D6. Well, conveniently, if you roll it, I can make it happen. Three. And that was Yeti 12. Yeti 12. Okay, I'll get a shot at him. We'll hit some two, huh? Nice. Okay, extra damage. As this is first round action, first combat action, give it a third shot. All right. No, I think I'm fine. All right, Susa. Okay, I will probably need your help with this. I'm going to do sickening radiance. Uh, dim, dim greenish light spreads within a 30 foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose within range. The light spreads around corners and lasts until the spell ends. When a creature moves into the spell's area for the first time or on a turn or starts its turn there, that creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or take 4d10 radiant damage, suffer one level of exhaustion, and emit a dim greenish light and a 5 foot radius. The light makes it impossible for the creature to benefit from being invisible. 
the light, and any levels of exhaustion caused by this spell go away when the spell ends. Okay. Where would you like your hard radiation applied? On as many of them as I can. Like, something like that. Ship, ship, ship a little to the east. I'm going for maximum coverage here. Yeah, can't quite get the seventh one. Oh well, I tried. Okay. So, um, let's see. Let me grab you. Hard select you, hopefully. And then see. Yeah. Alright, go ahead and hit the save. And then hit the damage and then the effect. All right. So, uh, it looks like and it lasts. Time. Okay, and it lasts for ten minutes. So, yeah. Concentration. Right. Only two failed. Bummer. Yep. But they'll have more chances. Indeed, they will. Yes. So, I don't. Do I have a bonus action of any sort? I don't think so. So I'll just chill out right here. Okay. Um. You can always blow a raspberry out of his bonus action. Oh well, that goes without saying. So uh, I only have a reaction. You said. Uh right. You can now take reactions. Uh since I didn't have one prepared, I don't think I can do anything. Right. Uh, basically, not from here on, if you uh, supply try to attack you, you could cast shield or. Oh, oh, I understand. Oh, so I could prepare a reaction. Okay. Uh. No, no, you you have a reaction available, but in order to use a reaction, something else has to trigger it. So that's what he's saying. If somebody, if one of them, like throws a rock at you, you can then they... use your reaction to cast shield. Yeah. But like shoot before that... this tur this turn, you would not have been able to go. Oh, I'm, I'm casting shield as a reaction. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because shield is a spell that is a reaction. Uh... Like Featherfall. Right. Or Counterspell. Um... Or... Yeah. So you don't have anything to actually I don't have, do. I don't right have... Here. No, no. I was just looking to see. I don't have that. And though... I have mage armor, but that is not a reaction. So yeah. then, then I'm going to just move on. Yeah. And Ooh. now, when your turn comes back around, it's everything's normal. Nietzsche. thank you. Well, sure. I'm going to. I'm going to be very friendly. Um, <laughs> After we smack the smack six out of the seven. Oh yeah, this is super friendly. You're gonna like this. I'm going to uh, cast Call Lightning. Can I get a 60-foot radius circle that covers everything? <laughs> well, my 30 almost does. Um, so. you, can draw, you can draw it, right? Right-click and pointers and draw it. Because I can only have one thing at a time. I'm pretty okay. sure. If I make the next one... No, I can have one one. So, okay. So here, there. Um, so we then... literally pulled out all the big stops, the literal big stops. Oh no, I've still got some fourth level, fourth level spells that I could pile on, but I. I, I so think you might. Works. So that basically just covers the entire map, right? Yes. Yeah, basically. You you want to put us in that in that cover though? Yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah. Because if they close on you, you know that kind of thing. Uh, and as part which, of which this, is the advantage if you if you draw it yourself. Okay. Anyways, um, I uh, 
I'm going to put, I'm going to hit the three on the the right hand side. Second, let me. With the actual lightning. Okay. So, so 18, 10, what? and four. I suppose I can click on them on the turn tracker. I right? got them. Okay. And yeah, uh, then I click cast. Yep, now do the saves. Did I do that right? Apparently not. Let me double click on this. There we go. Okay, mixed bag. Uh, mixed and bag. then click damage, probably. Yes, though it will do an extra D10 because we're in the stormy conditions. Okay. So I'm not sure how to add the extra damage. Uh, hold on a second. What's what's the base damage? 3D10. And so then we've... you should be able to, uh, if you hold, I think if you're holding the damage button, you then right click, I think it'll increase it by. Let's see, call lightning. Let me open it up. Yeah. All right. Here, I'll just do this faster. Uh, because that while that works, it doesn't work as great when you're doing on multiple things. Okay. Gotcha. So just click, click the, the, the bottom one. Okay. There we Is go. It ready for me to click? Yep. Okay. That's not a bad roll. Nope. All right. Things aren't as good as they was hoping. And but... then as a bonus action, I'm going to drop my uh, totem again. Okay. So, uh, and it'll cover all of us. Like there? Yeah. Okay. Let me so, wiggle everybody. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll let you do the selecting there then. All right. or, so... or do you want me to stop them? I'll get it. Just a second. So I've got you okay. hard selected, so I'll clear targets. And then it's like friendly units. Okay. Then apply the you apply the um, bonus uh, hit points yeah. or the temporary hit points. Uh, I have okay. everybody. There. Everybody got the extra ten uh, twelve hit points. Yep. Looks like it. Woo, thank you. Yeah. All right. And I think that's my turn, because I don't want to go anywhere. Okay. So, yeah, let me find the turn tracker. There it is. Click the thing. All right, Yeti number four. Uh, go ahead. It's going to move right down the middle, so go ahead and uh, throw the... Um, Sickening radiance on it. Uh, the save or the damage? Save first, then damage. Okay. On four. Hold on. Okay. Now damage. And effect. Did that get him? Uh oh, he's coming for me. Well, he's yes, because uh, you're there. Um, let's see, what's he gonna start with? Uh, it will start with its gaze attack. That's what I'll do. Uh oh, that didn't go so well for me. Well, this has already been a spirited session. You absorbed and you maintain your concentration, though you are paralyzed. Shoot. Well, I, that's okay. I don't need to be not paralyzed to uh, hold this spell going. So. It's true. <laughs> uh, okay, Yeti number 10. Same thing. Well, that's a save. Yep. 
Okay, so nothing. He right. still takes damage, does he? Does he? Uh, go ahead and read it to be sure. Uh, hold on. I think yeah, I think it's all or nothing. Okay, well that makes sense. It's pretty good. Yeah. All right, and he will also do this gaze at the next person. Who succeeds? Uh, let's see. It is. Da -da -da. Brandon, good news, that won't work on you for the next hour. From just him or for all of them? For all yetis. Yes. <laughs> Specifically, yeti. Not super yeti. Oh, great. All right. Becoming super? Yes. That's not the word they use. Do, do they have an S on their chest? <laughs> One would hope not. Um, throw the spell on Yeti 3, the um, Radiance. All right. And do Woo. the bad things to it. Oosh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is and, a um, fine how do you do. Yeah, and the exhaustion. Okay, good. Did, I did. Did it go on? So we'll try its gaze. Martin. Do they know it doesn't work on me? No, they're just picking different ones. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> same thing, Martin. Woo! Okay, Yeti 15. Bad things. Is that the back one? Yep. Yeah. All right. Excellent. Again, with a good damage roll. Mm -hmm. I like I'm this that Our lowest initiative roll is a 17. RM Jesus is on our side. Claw. Miss and see what I mean. Oh, well. Take me claw. This one also stares at Ukrainian, but it doesn't work. Okay. Wow, and he still did a damage to me? Yep. Whew. All right, Yeti 18. Okay. Save. And I could see if my... All right, he fails. Throw damage on him. Fabulous. Hopefully it takes this one out. No. no, it gets him pretty hurt, but, though. But you got him to exhaustion level 2. Uh, it's worth pointing out, exhaustion level 6 is instant death. Oh, they stack. Nice. Yeah. The exhaustion spiral is real, and it's unpleasant. <laughs> yes. Well, I have it in real life, so yeah. Yeah, well, we ran into that for a couple weeks. All right, Yeti 12. Succeed. It gets to do a thing. Uh, 
All right, it stares at Martin, which doesn't do anything. And then it starts to claw. I stare back. It misses some. Crannon! Ooh. My turn. Yep. I will take a step there. Okay. And then I am going to attack number 12. Here comes the short sword. And that's a hit. And I'm, I suppose I get sneak attack, right? Mm -hmm. Do I have to manually do that this time? Uh, yeah, they're large. All right, that's the end of it. Excellent. Then I, then I guess I'll just... Uh, stab at number 15. That's a miss. And then my bonus action, leg sweep. Let it. Excellent. It's hard to miss those big legs. Ten damage, but he's still standing, and that would be it. All right, Shadow. Let's shoot. Um, I think I like Susan more than Craps in Hand, so I'll shoot Yeti Four. Okay. <laughs> See if we can get some big damage. Good enough to kill it. Enough. I'll take it. <laughs> I would reroll it, but he died anyways. So. Is Thank that the one that paralyzed me, Alex? And does it last after he dies? It lasts after he dies. Oh well, never mind. Oh, she's paralyzed, huh? Yep. Uh. Which makes her easy target. Yeah. Yeah. Automatic crits. And I'm going to shoot at Yeti 3 then. Her hit. I have a LARP story about being paralyzed and no one noticed and they all left. Yeah. Good, good times. <laughs> so I rolled that in the chat just in case I wanted to re-roll it and I am going to re-roll it. Okay. Marginally more damage. Hey, another kill. Excellent. Marginally less. Wow. The worst part, McCoy? I was also nauseated. <laughs> of course you were. <laughs> Why would you? <laughs> the worst. <laughs> and everybody's like, bye! <laughs> Martin. Okay, well, not a fan of being bunched together like a nice single snack target, so I'm going to... Oh, pardon me. At the beginning of the turn, I forgot to announce, there was a horrible roar that broadcast across the entire area carry on oh from, from, from where now? what oh it, it, i think mama's coming hard to determine exactly where but uh cause yeah, are, are out these across. baby yetis these are not baby yetis those are a thing okay. they're called yeti tykes and these aren't them given that new information can i, I move this where Sure. Thank you. Cool. 
Okay. That Susa's going to be paralyzed. I will shore up the flank. Yeah. Oh, do, thank you. do not All go right. any further forward. You do not want to be in the sickening radiance. No, no it's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm going to attack Yeti 15. And again. No. I'm telling you, that one looks like a seven sometimes. Vice versa. Um, let's see, do I want to do anything else? Do, 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 do. Nope, that'll do me. Uh, I guess I'm going to stand here, right? I mean, pretty much. Uh, you can make a save, a constitution ch save at the end of your turn. So go ahead and just roll that. Okay, where's that? Save constitution. You were almost, but not unparalyzed. <laughs> of course. I'll continue standing here. All right, Vyroka, you can act away. They left I was going to say act normally. Yeah. Act normally? They left three for me. Hmm. That guy's hurt. He's hurt. He's so sure. Okay. Uh... Yeah, the middle one is looking pretty beat up. Yeah. The other two are too, but... Um... Okay. Ten, ten is the least hurt. Going to where's ten? He's the one in the middle. I'm I'm gonna cast a uh, fireball again on eighteen and ten. Okay. And I'm going to cast it so it does not hit Shadow in the trees, but I will sculpt around Shadow in the trees and Zusa as I just just I will sculpt around them just so it doesn't hit them. Is it too late to uh, helm glamour some shades, or like a welding helmet or something like that? <laughs> you'll you'll lose your cool looking jacket. I got those targeted for you. Thank you. So now I can just double click on this. Yep. Okay. Oh Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Youch! Burn, baby, burn! Alright, I figured I'd come back to at least one dead one. Alright, Micah. Uh, you have certainly thinned out my target-rich environment. Um... I was trying to place a shot so I could hit the group of uh, yetis, but these two are just far enough apart that I can't hit both of them, I don't think. Because um, it's a within five feet kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So I will, uh, in that case, uh, just I'll take care of ten. I think I've, I've already got it selected. Let me double check. I think I do. Anyway. Hold on. Yes, you do. All right. In uh, that case, I'm going to use my... Uh, uh, I get to do the, the lightning damage again. Lightning it. They get to make a save. So... Fails to save. So, 4010 damage? Yep. Boosh. How do you like me now? Thud. 
And uh, yeah, I, I think that'll be my turn. I'm maintaining this spell because it, it sounds like we might be getting company soon. Oh, right. Button. All right. This Yeti is just going to swing and attack. Going to do its attacking thing. Uh, it tries to stare down Cranon. It doesn't work. And it's enough out of the sickening radiance. Yep. Its corner's clipped. But... Let's miss. So that's it. And then, uh, walking onto the, climbing up onto the scene. is the abominable yeti no is that a super yeti that's the super yeti all right Let's see, he's got half his movement left so be an odd benefit to the ghost being in my head if i get paralyzed the ghost might not be that's true <laughs> well in this case i guess i'll just run yeah that works okay Cranon. all righty then um, do I get sneak attack on 15? There's no one else around. There's no one else around. Okay. I assume, oh, well. I assume the bear totem doesn't count. It does not. It, it, that that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Martin okay. had to run away like a coward. You have somebody. He goes, stab at it with a short sword. That's oh, you hit it. Eh, here it goes. And still standing, so stab at two or slash at two. I hit it again. Yay, and he is. Last end of it. He's died. So I'm going to run here. And for my bonus action, I'm going to... How tall is this thing? I mean, it looks massive. Well, it is, in fact, huge. Okay, so I guess I'm just going to jump up and punch it in the... In the... Well, is it male or female? Kneecap? We'll looks it's like male. a Barbie doll there. Well, I was only trying to punch it in the junk, because, you know, yeah. that hurts more. Unless it's an alien species whose genitals are in their knees. True. But anyways, that hit, and that should yep. do sneak attack damage, right? Yep. That'd be pretty impressive if anyone knew that reference. I know that reference. Of course I do. Yeah, uh -huh. Star Trek 4. Yeah, Not Star Trek 4. Nice try. That's Rick and Morty, that? there's aliens that have that. Six one. Six. Oh, right. The undiscovered country. Yeah. And that's all my th three attacks. Actually, actually, I'm going to spend a, I'm going to spend a key point. Okay. And take uh, um, another attack. Okay. Oops. Did it not have it targeted? Crap. It hit though. Right. Yeah. Bam. Damage eight. 
And I'm going to spend another key point to do a stunning strike. I suspect that will not take. Yeah, me too, but why not? Hey, it's sure, nice. Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, he's got to make a save. Oh, wait, do I have the ability on my actions? It's con save. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I do have it on it. Sweet. Yeah, 19, that, that does it. Okay. And now I'm done. All right. Hey, Shadow. I had this really awesome turn planned, and then I realized I haven't taken that feat yet, so it's not going to work. <laughs> Bummer. It is marginally unfortunate. Uh, so I'm going to draw my rapier while still holding my bow in the other hand. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to stab at this dude. With your steely knives? Something like that. No, it was a rapier. Weren't you listening? 11 damage like that. Attack him again. What they don't really have for them is any kind of armor. Yeah, I was uh, it's unfortunate I can't sharpshooter with this. Hey, another 11 damage. Uh, and now I'm going to exercise my uh, action surge. I'm very happy I did not do that earlier. And attack him two more times. Nice. Action surge is awesome. And... One more time. Oh. Uh, and I guess that's it. All right. Martin. Okay. Iron hole. Sweet a minute. There we go. Plop a arrow right in them. Yep. Yeah, I did. Okay, well, how long does this paralysis last? A minute. Or until you save out of it. Yep. Okay, so let me try again. Which was it? Con save. Really? Do you want to use your uh, inspiration, maybe? I do. It will inspiration reroll or a d6? Reroll. <laughs> Technically, advantage. It depends on. So, inspiration is usually you get to reroll. Uh, a hero point is usually you get a d6, add a d6. Although I tend to use it as inspiration as adding a d6. But it can be either one, depending right. on how you want to play. Yeah, And technically, yes, you can make a... You should be using inspiration to roll a thing with advantage. But that's not how it really gets played. But I well, still didn't... Part, I st part, partially, it's just because of the mechanics of, of, how, of how you're doing it. And so it was... I, I understand. I, I kind of like it as a re-roll anyways. 
it usually when it's when it's it's uh not advantage because advantage you roll both at the same time whereas inspiration you are allowed generally allowed to roll it look at the result and then decide before you know if it's a success or failure usually then you get to decide if you want to use it or not right that's how we've been playing just here because we're using a computer we we kind of know the result beforehand right anyway so it's right weird. yeah no, no i get it but I, I i think technically the way it's written book is advantage but i could be wrong about that so but it doesn't matter it's 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 all it depends on the adventure right i think oh, okay um but yes but i'm still paralyzed right yeah i didn't make it so it was a weird slapper see if she of snaps out of it <sighs> fireballing it i i am i'm just i don't i don't know how to get rid of that I just want to make sure it doesn't hit us and I could still hit the Yeti and I think I can't but I don't know how to get rid of that circle uh, you should be able to right click on it and says delete all pointers and then delete you can also just say remove all pointers and remove yours as long as you're not the DM it won't remove yeah. other people's okay there we go uh, so I'm going to cast fireball at it okay It fails. Oh, sweet. All right. Because it is afraid of fire, it now has disadvantage on all of its attacks and ability checks. Sweet. Woot. Until the beginning of its turn. Or until, uh, was it? Until the end of its next turn. Okay. All right, Micah. Micah, you're muted if you are speaking. Unfortunately, my no my chair is noisy, and I didn't want to make creaky noises too much. Um, so yeah. Uh, Given that I uh, established earlier that the area of, for the storm was covering us, uh, I'm going to use the lightning attack on, I guess, Zelenor? Is that who I'm targeting? That would be yourself, I think. You want the abominable Yeti, I think, unless you want to try to Zark yourself. Is Zelenor me? Zelenor oh, is okay. a, uh, a... Oh, that's the familiar... Okay, my my bad. Yeah. Okay. The the uh, abominable yeti. I think I've got him uh, selected. You don't. So but I don't. I can fix that. Nope. I clicked on him. Oh well. And then now you uh, do. Then I will uh, cast. Oh yeah. He failed that big time. And uh, take 40, 10 uh, damage uh, till you like it. Oof. All right. It takes it. <laughs> Lightning comes down, blasts it, and now it's poofier than it was. <laughs> it's fur standing all out. <laughs> and I singed. I think that will be my turn. Okay. Oh, lightning is so so off from the top. I also liked how it looks in the movie in my head. Uh, just Micah is reaching up to the sky and calling down lightning. It targets. All right. It reaches over and breathes out its anger and fear. Uh, of course it does. I had been thinking that on my turn I should have moved around to the other side of it. Well, on the upside, it's a cone, and I can't quite get you this way, so. Meaner. 
Yeah, you know, I, I remember somebody mentioned something about you know, grouped up in a snack size bite. Yeah, but well, acting cool. friend. I wasn't going anywhere. So. <laughs> oh, good. I fail. Oh. Did not receive a uh, save request or whatever. It just, Did it automatically do it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if he, if he sends a save request, then he can't use the the mechanic of the the programming to do the half save or not. Oh, okay. So good news, I didn't roll very well on ten d eight, and uh, a lot of you have damage absorption, so that could have been much worse. Uh, ten d eight. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, it's a lot. All right. Okie Um. <clears throat> let me target him. And here comes the old first short sword. And here comes the follow up spin around stab. That hits. And let me add some sneak attack damage. And uh, I'm going to do a stunning strike. Okay. Yeah. So that's a key point. And you should have disadvantage, right? Let's see. Yeah, because yep. he's scared by the fire. Yeah, doesn't matter. He failed. He yep. failed. Sweet. So he is... Stunned until the end of my next turn. Yep. So put that effect on him. Oh, yeah. The effect. There we go. Suck it, big guy. Or little guy, girl. I don't know what this thing is. Um. Well, you see, you, you take it and you turn it upside down and then... You check? No, oh, I tried to kick there to figure it out, but it didn't work. Um, and I'll spend another key point to get another attack. Uh, what do we call it? Two more. Flurry of blows. Flurry of blows, yeah. Flurry of bows. So I get two more attacks. Oops. What the hell happened? Oh, I have advantage. Yes. That's that's stunned. Stunned. And I still missed. Here comes the next one. That one hit, though. Yep. What the hell was that? Did I do sneak attack before? And I didn't... It did sneak attack again, for whatever reason. Uh, it's because it, cause rogues normally have the one damage. The one attack. Okay. And that would be... It, and I am done. So this thing is stunned right now? Yeah. Yep. Which means it can't take reactions? That Question is correct. Bye bye <laughs> <laughs> Zing! Wait, that's not where I'll go. Hang on. Uh, let's go there. And then... Uh, cat speed over to... There. Yeah. Wait, am I going to be able to shoot over those rocks from there? Yes. Perfect. I'll move there. It's over 20 foot See, tall. So, yeah. Seems, seems, yeah. seems to me somebody was making fun of somebody for running away like that. Only somebody else didn't run away like that. Strategic positioning. I'm an archer. You're a polearm fighter. <laughs> I'm an archer. <laughs> you have the feet polearm fighting. I do indeed, but I also have the fighting style of archery. Yeah. I have the fighting style of archery and sharpshooter. Uh, any case, uh, we're going to pull back on the bow and let her rip. I have advantage. That's convenient. Still yep. missed, huh? 
Yep. Well, that's lame. dice. Yeah. Yep. 14 misses. That's disappointing. Uh, then I'll shoot him again. You would think the bigger one would have a lower AC. There we go. Sensitive to cat allergies. Uh, 21 damage. There we go. Yeah, it works on it. That's not shabby. Martin. Really weird is it's actually kind of almost worth it to miss once to get the extra damage since it's 10 flat as opposed to a second D8 plus 4. More arrows go into this thing. He's starting to look like an abominable pincushion. In fact, he's pretty. He's uh, he's more than bloodied. Hey, I'm gonna stand here. Oh, come on! Don't sell yourself short. You're gonna stand there and look pretty. <laughs> I was gonna say. I'm not helping. Well, you did a lot of early work. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to cast Fireball at fourth level. He automatically fails deck saves right now. Yep. So do I just cast it? I don't have any third level spell slots, so I'm casting okay. it at fourth level. Okay. So do I grab, still grab do the I dice? Still grab it? Yeah, okay. Grab the dice. Click up one and just drop it on him. Just do the damage. Is it one or two for Fireball? It's okay, one. grab that, it's click up right one right once. Okay, yep. here goes. Not a lot to do it. Alright. Yeah, it, it looks severely unhealthy, let's say. Hey, if you are, do you want to like maybe move a little bit out of the cluster of coneness? Can I? Uh, I say, am, I, you know. am I in his reach? Nope. I can no, safely move he's back. Stunned. He's stunned. I'm most definitely moving back. I'm going to move back. I think that's as far as I can go. That This is an ice wall, I think, right? It's rough terrain. Here. You can go over it. Yeah. That's good right there. Okay. So I'm going to hit him with the lightning. Okay. Same thing. Just grab the damage and drop it on him. Let me actually drop it on him. All right. There we go. How do you like me now? Not so much. <laughs> Zot! <laughs> All right. So, there's the Yetis. And uh, as we cut out for the evening, let me open up here. Uh, rising Cover before arrows. you is a 600 foot tall mountain of glacial ice. Its peak carved to resemble a gigantic skull wearing a crown. Weaving up the mountain's southern slope is enormous stairs hewn from the ice. These steps, which have, which extend from the base of the mountain to the base of the fortress, were clearly made for giants. Each step is four feet higher than the one before it. Four That's feet higher than the one before it? Yep. Yep. Good lord, how did they not trip down those things? I mean, you... you... You have uneven stairs like that. So that it's a hard walk up. For even for the giants. Alright, and we will see you next time. Again, this was sponsored by Fantasy Grounds, and they provided us with uh, Fantasy Grounds, as well as uh, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden, and we will continue with it next month. First, of the, first Sunday of the month. Uh, Shadow, you got some stuff to plug? Uh, you can check out our weekly DDO news and discussion podcast at ddocast.com or on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ddocast, or on YouTube as well. Uh, and we're also playing uh, Tomb of Annihilation. Do we know when our next one of those is going to be? Uh, May 13th, probably. 
All right. At uh, 8 Eastern. Cool. And hopefully I'll get to like actually attack a player this time. Same. <laughs> You guys already attacked each other, so. Well, I didn't. Um, Susa. Uh, you can check out our goods and wares at the amethystdragonfly.com or eldritchentertainment.com. Uh, Gribby's been working on some, making some dice, so we'll have some, some cool stuff coming down the pipeline. So check it out. And Micah. Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Jeremiah McCoy. You can find me at jeremiahmccoy.com. Uh, I'm on Twitter as Tech Noir. I'm on uh, Twitch and TikTok as Basics of the Game. I talk a lot of uh, D&D uh, and tabletop gaming stuff all the time, so feel free to stop by. And Martin. Yeah, I got that. Well, all right then. Uh, Krannon? Uh, nothing. And if you are following me, please don't. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to our next game on May 13th. I mean, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. Last time uh, there was a, uh, a wrestling match, uh, fireworks included. And uh, or at least the best we could come up with in short notice. So it was pretty fun. And uh, we'll see you all next month or the 13th. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Later. Later.